walkie talkie using Arduino. Hmm, sounds interesting, isn't it? All right, let's spend some time today and design and understand this fairly simple circuit and let's find out how our expectations are challenged by the reality. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay specializes in manufacturing of very high quality, low volume, colored PCBs at a very budgetary price. In addition to standard PCBs, you can order advanced PCBs, aluminum PCBs, rigid flex PCBs. They also provide PCB assembly and other related services which can meet your need at the greatest extent. While compiling data for my tutorial on the NRF24L01 module, I found this easy to use RF24 audio library. This library has all the basic functionalities that you need to make a DIY walkie talkie. The sketch is very simple and I had all the components required to assemble this on a breadboard. To motivate me even further, I found tons of video tutorials of people making this super cheap gadget with crystal clear voice transmitted over 1 to 2 kilometers of range. Hmm, sounds a bit dodgy, but I still wanted to give it a shot. The audio library works on top of the RF24 library. Let's start by looking at the schematic of the circuit and let's also find out the components required to assemble this circuit. Before going into much details, let's understand the basic requirements of this circuit. To transmit and receive data from one unit to the other, we need some sort of transceiver module and a microcontroller to process the data. We need some sort of module to capture our voice and a device to convert the sound wave received in the form of electrical signals and relay it as an audible sound wave. To start the transmission we need a push button and a LED indicator which lights up when the transmission begins. Similarly, at the receiving end we need a LED indicator that lights up when the unit starts receiving data. Alright, now let's replace our logic with the electronic components. The heart of this circuit is an Arduino Nano. The voice is transmitted from one unit to the other using an NRF24L01 transceiver module. Using a microphone module connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino, I'm going to capture my voice. And using a 8 ohm 0.5 watt speaker connected to the D9 and D10 pin of the Arduino, I'm going to output the voice received by this circuit. To initiate the transfer, I'm using a push button switch connected to the A a1 pin of the Arduino. The red LED connected to the push button lights up when we press the button and transmit data. The green LED connected to the D6 pin of the Arduino lights up when the unit starts receiving data. We also need to add a large decoupling capacitor, anything from 470 microfarad upwards on the 3.3 volt line to filter out voltage spikes and to provide enough power to the IC to keep the voltage stable. You may also need to provide additional power to the NRF24 module using a 3.3 volt voltage regulator. To transmit and receive data, we need exact copies of this module at both transmitting and the receiving ends. Now let's have a look at the code. Unless you want to do something super funky, just go ahead and upload the minimal code provided with the RF24 audio library to both the Arduinos present at the transmitting and the receiving ends. The code works perfectly fine with the circuit diagram we discussed in the previous section. If you want to change any one of the pin combinations, then you need to edit the userconfig.h file which you can find inside the Arduino libraries folder. That's all you have to do to get this all up and running. Alright, now the interesting bit. Let's go ahead and test this super cheap Arduino based walkie talkie. As you can hear, the sound quality is a total disaster. I tried few things like altering the sampling rate, altering the transfer speed, adding a better microphone and an amplifier circuit, but nothing helped to improve the audio quality. This circuit is a total disaster. I feel like I wasted my weekend making this project and I'm glad that I did not end up designing a PCB for this setup. Frankly speaking, with this setup you can only get about 20 meter or less with concrete walls in between. So, if you have a little faith in me, don't waste your time making this project at home. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.